Hey, what's up guys? This is David Skin Cake from Acne Erasing Secrets.com. Today in this video, I'm going to answer the question, does protein cause acne? Uh, protein is something, and amino acids, both amino acids and protein, are very important for a healthy, nutritious diet and rebuilding muscle and actually rebuilding a lot of things in your body. Because um, your body actually recreates itself, believe it or not. So your body is constantly recreating itself. Think of it like that. So um, protein and amino acids are great for that. Um, and the question was, does protein cause acne? Now, protein is healthy and your body needs it, but at the same time, uh, excessive protein in your diet actually causes your body to become acidic, which means that the pH level is too... Is it high or low? I don't know. It's too low, I believe. Yeah, it's too low. So it being uh, protein, excessive protein will cause your uh, pH level... It will cause your body to become acidic, which lowers your pH level in your body. And when your uh, bloodstream and uh, body are more acidic, um, it actually causes, it causes uh, toxins and things like that um, to spread and to fester in that environment better. Whereas if your uh, body is more alkaline, it's cleansing, it's nutritious, the, uh, the nutrients can um, get to your cells easier and it's just more, a more uh, fruitful, beneficial, healthy environment, um, cellular, cellularly speaking. Um, so uh, protein is healthy and uh, let me just first say um, some good sources of protein and good things you can eat to get uh, healthy protein. Um, one thing is organic free-range meats. That's things like uh, chicken, um, fish, uh, you know, um, uh, steak, uh, things that are organic and free-range. Make sure they're grass-fed, organic, free-range, high-quality meats. If they're not, they probably have hormones ejected into them, which are antibiotics, which when you eat the meat, you get the antibiotics in your body, which causes cellular malfunction and cellular confusion and causes your body to do all sorts of crazy things. Um, including breakouts. So make sure the meat is high quality, free range, or organic and grass fed meat. Um, things like chicken, you know, a sal a, um, um, fish, things like that. Um, the next thing is a great source of protein is uh, nuts. Things like almonds are really great. Um, and actually, unfortunately, those are pasteurized now, so you, it's better to get raw almonds if you can. Um, but almonds, uh, cashews, peanuts, um, things like that. Nuts are a very great source of protein. Another thing is uh, quinoa. Q U I N O A quinoa. Um, it's a it's a high source of uh, protein. It's kind of like a, a um, not rice. It's similar to rice, but if you look it up, you can find more about that. That's another great source of protein. Another great source of protein is eggs. Uh, like once again, make sure they're organic, free range eggs um, because those are healthier, and the eggs will be brown, not white. Your eggs should be brown. That's how eggs naturally are. They don't come out of an animal white that's like dyed and stuff. So make sure they're, they're brown, the color should be brown, and they should say, you know, free-range organic eggs. So um, organic free-range eggs are another good source of protein. Um, another good source of protein is um, Greek yogurt. Um, Greek yogurt is uh, basically a much healthier alternative to regular oat yogurt. Um, Greek yogurt is uh, higher in the good fats, uh, like omegas and th omega fats, things like that. Uh, it's lower in sugar and it's just got more uh, healthy, it's just more nutrient dense. Um, so Greek yogurt is another good source of, uh, actually, um, I believe that has probi it should have probiotics in it too. So Greek yogurt is actually really, really good because it's, it helps your digestive system and things like that, but it also has the uh, protein and, and good fats and things like that in it. So um, Greek yogurt is definitely something to look into. But um, those are some good sources of protein. So I recommend you get the protein you got through those things. Um, I don't recommend powder protein or whey protein. Um, the, you know, the protein powders if you're like into muscle building or working out or any types of athletic things. Those are, generally speaking, like 99% of those are really low quality protein, and your body cannot even assimilate them or use them beneficially like they can from the natural foods and natural sources. So I recommend you get the protein in your diet and not taking additional extra protein. Um, and if you already have it in your diet through those things and you're taking additional protein, you're probably causing your body to be too acidic because of the excessive protein, and I recommend that you get rid of that powder and just keep it in your diet, and that should be good enough. Um, so basically, just like anything else in health, guys, you want to balance out your body. You want it to be holistic. You want it to be centered. You want it to be balanced. You want to have just enough. You want to have enough protein, but not too much, because excessive protein will cause acidity. And you want to keep it balanced and make sure that you're getting high quality sources of protein, not low quality. So it always comes back to once again the quality of what you're putting in your body, and then the quantity. Make sure the quality is high quality, organic, natural, uh, least amount of preservatives and sugar as possible, and then also make sure the quantity is balanced too, that you're not excessively eat, overeating um, 
were under eating uh, certain you know foods and, and drinks and whatnot. So um, I hope that answers the question. Okay, uh, to give you, those are some just good ideas for um, natural sources of protein you can include in your diet. Um, and you know, like I said, stay away from whey protein, powder protein. It's just excessive. Your body doesn't need them, um, and they're generally speaking low quality and don't really do anything anyway. So just give them this stuff naturally in your diet. Um, and if you do uh, take protein powders and things like that, just include the natural sources of protein in your diet, and then eat fermented foods like uh, sauerkraut and things like that, um, because those actually uh, help build muscle and help your digestive system as well, and just helps rebuild your body too. So um, get good sources of natural protein and fermented foods, and that's a good alternative to the powdered proteins. Um, I believe that's it for this video. Um, I hope that answers the question, does protein cause acne okay? Um, hopefully you have a better understanding of proteins and where to get natural healthy proteins from and uh, how, you know, how it affects skin and you know, acne and breakouts and things like that. So um, This is David the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. We're playing Acne in the World one person at a time, starting with you. Be sure to hit the yellow subscribe button above to subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up like button below if you learned something from this video. Or if you're super cool and you're already doing those things that I said, hit the like video. Or if you're going to learn to do those things and start implementing them in your diet, hit the like button. I want to know if you're using this stuff. So hit the like button if you're going to use it or learn from it somehow. Um, and then hit the share button below as well to share this video on Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate you guys sharing the video. And if you have blogs or anything, share it in the blogs. I love when you guys do that. You guys rock. Um, and then also... Leave your comments, questions, thoughts, and feedback below. If you have any questions uh, you want me to answer in a new video, leave that below in the comment section. If you want me to review any products or things like that in the acne or skincare markets, leave that below. And then just any questions or comments or feedback you have on this video as well, leave those in the comment section. Thanks for your time. We'll see you on my website below and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.